Us lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love. Have Missy with me today. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Missy, we're going to take a look at what are probably the two most popular single boiler machines that were have ever been made, really. Yeah. <laughs> so ever. We've got the Gaja Classic Evo Pro. We have the Ranchilio Silvia M here. Uh, lots of new stuff this year on the Gaja Classic Evo Pro. We'll talk mm -hmm. about that. But we want to do a little comparison. I will say this is an interactive presentation, right? So we do have Ellie back there and Brian the Mustache <laughs> running the show who will get your questions out to us. So please, please don't leave us alone out here. Ask us some really good yeah. questions, right? We need you. <laughs> we need you. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, and this is a live stream. If you're watching a replay yeah. or something, use those comments to get mm -hmm. those questions in there. Um, so now I know, Missy, mm -hmm. that you have the Gaja Classic Evo Pro at home, right? That's I your do. like daily driver. It's my daily driver. And I love the way that you referred to it one time as it's kind of like that that first car. Yeah, it's kind of like the Honda Civic of espresso machines in a yeah. way. Um, if you ask a mechanic, hey, which car should I get? They'll just they're Standard answer is going to be Honda Civic. Um, it's kind of like that. You ask a barista what machine to get as a first espresso machine. They're most likely going to say Gaja Classic Pro Evo Pro. Now it is. So, yeah. Yeah. But there's lots of Sylvia fans out there. We know that. And mm -hmm. I've got a little backstory on the Sylvia that we'll talk about mm -hmm. um, how it actually came to be. Um, but we do want to make some espresso and some do some milk drinks on both of the machines. Okay. So we'll get into that. But uh, before we get there, you know, I do want to say that, you know, we've got our classic Evo Pro here tricked out a little bit. Some tiger maple. With some, yeah, all kinds of, I mean, I think the classic Evo Pro is available in 10 different colors. 10 different colors, um, different wood options as well. And we do have a bottomless porta filter on there. Mm -hmm. um, there's a real reason why you might want this. Number one, it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, but number two, it gives you a little more clearance under the spouts if you're using taller cups. Yeah, a little more clearance under the spout. And if you're looking to perfect your craft, it's going to show any uh, imperfections in that puck preparation or grind, any clumps like that will show channeling. So it's a great way to get better espresso uh, by learning how to avoid channeling. Yeah. But we'll show you the, the process here of how these are used. Again, both single boiler machines. So I guess maybe I miss it. Do you want to go right ahead oh, and sure. talk about that? And while you're grinding up here, I'll just let you know that like the Gaja Classic Evo Pro, um, this machine's been around in a lot of iterations for a lot yeah, of years. Yeah, basically since the 70s, if you trace it back far enough. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the Gaja Classic Evo Pro, we're going to be using a non-pressurized and grinding fresh, but it also does come with a pressurized filter basket. So if you don't have a grinder yet and you want to get into home espresso and using pre-ground espresso, uh, ground to espresso size coffee, not don't try and use drip coffee in there. <laughs> yeah. um, you can do that without a grinder. And I'll, we'll show you that down the road. If you want to know more about that, I'll show you exactly okay. what you need to do that. So we're just gonna we're gonna pull a shot here, okay? We'll pull a shot, okay. Now we we really you know recommend as you get further into espresso that you're weighing your ground coffee, that you're weighing your output, and all that. Mm -hmm. That looks really nice, right? Yeah, yeah. Nice waterfall flow going on there. We're doing the crema wave today. So yeah, bottomless porta filters. They're gonna show you if there was any like spurting. Mm -hmm. That would indicate channeling and that you could um, maybe use a WDT tool to break up any clumps in the ground. So and the WDT, yeah. it's like it's got it's little... It's a little whisk, basically. Little whisk, so yeah, you can, you can up the grinds, especially break up clumps. You can, use, you can use a toothpick, paper yeah. clips, yeah. Uh, maybe <laughs> if you've got a grinder that maybe, you know, is kind of clumpy or something, you want to break yeah. up those clumps, right? Mm -hmm. um, both these machines, let's talk about what's similar. I mean, the process to using both of these is very similar. Um, yeah. And yeah. You're just doing a little clean there on that. Yeah. Yeah, I Beautiful. always do that personally. Let me get a little rag here. Um, both have three-way solenoid valves, so if you're, you know, looking at a machine, um, if you get into the really cheaper, like I call them appliance-grade machines that, mm -hmm. that don't have a three-way solenoid valve, you're going to end up with kind of soupy pucks that you have to right. dig out of there. A lot of those don't have 58 millimeter porta filters like this, um, and these also retain the heat really well. Yeah, because you actually do transfer heat down yeah. from the from the brass brew grooves up there. So there's a big yeah. hunk of brass in there. You can see this has a nice stainless surround mm -hmm. on it. Stainless um, steel surround. It's an update from the last iteration of the machine. That's an update. And if you're researching the Gaja Classic Evo Pro, you're going to hear a lot about, uh, 
you know, the brewing pressure, these here in North America now, everything, all the guys at Classic Evo Pros are nine bar. They have nine, nine bar, if OPV. You see spring, nine bar spring or spring. OPV, mm -hmm. you don't need to do any upgrades if that's what you want to use. Exactly. Um, that's, that's a North American exclusive. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, again, a three-way solenoid valve, if you're going to steam on this, that's going to be a separate process because it yeah. is a single boiler. That's how those work. Mm -hmm. So you'd, And we'll do that in a minute. You just hit the steam switch, wait about 20 seconds, and then start frothing your milk. Um, you can add water from the top here. Yeah, it's got a 72 fluid ounce reservoir, so nice big reservoir in there. Um, it's got the warming tray up here as well. And yeah. the steam wand, you know, good rotating steam wand there, so. Uh, both of these machines, that uh, you'll hear about no burn steam wands, neither of these have that. Yeah, that'll be um, kind of at a higher price point. Higher price point, but mm -hmm. they are commercial style uh, steam wands, two hole tip over here single hole tip on the uh, Rangelio Silvia here. Uh, but why don't we go ahead and pull a shot over here. Again, if you have those questions, ask away. Um, ask away. And we'll just make a quick check. Yeah, we'll take one, sure. Yeah, so. Hey, Ellie. Uh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, Erica wants to know um, what other upgrades are available to the Gaja Classic. Great question. Yeah, yeah um, so there are shower screens that have uh, more precise holes and patterns on them that will improve the flavor. So you can install those shower screens there. There's mm -hmm. also uh, portafilter baskets that are also gonna have uh, precision baskets to improve the flavor. And you can get those on either one of these. Um, on the Classic, those will be available. And then there's also the, the wood upgrades available as well. Now, if you happen to be watching this and you have an older Classic, it used to be uh, an, alum an aluminum uh, plate up in yeah. inside. Now that's stainless steel on these. Yeah, it's a stainless steel plate there. And then also um, on the Evo Pro, it's going to come with the, the stainless steel portafilter heads as well. Yeah. Um, and then for if you do have an older classic and you're like, oh, I really like those wood portafilters, we do have those available. Any mm -hmm. of the Gaja portafilters are going to fit on Gaja. Classic, Classic Pro, Evo Pro as well. Yeah, we used to have a commercial mm -hmm. Gaja machine. You can actually lock them into the oh, commercial cool. Gaja machines. So, all right, so let's get over to the Sylvia. Now, maybe while you're grinding, we're going to use a Eureka Mignon Facili, right? Over mm -hmm. for this one, we were using the Mignon yeah, Silenzio. This one's the Silenzio. So it has time dosing on the side there, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. And then a little bit of uh, upgrade and finish as well on the Silenzio. Now I am using the Facili, which is... Basically, it means easy in Italian. Yeah, it is. So it's just an on and off button, uh, real simple there. So I've teared this out, and I'm going to weigh it each time on this one. That one, I've got it uh, set up so that when I punch it, it'll automatically stop for me. This one, I am checking the weight as I go. Now, if you don't have, we do recommend the scale. If you don't have the scale, you can, you know, kind of just basically fill up and level off a little bit, leave a little dip in there maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you just want to be consistent when you're pulling shots. Exactly. Um, so as you're doing that, a little, the little backstory on the on the Sylvia, they call it Miss Sylvia. Oh, and I, want, I have to show something if Brian can get in here. Because um, I don't know when they did this, but I took it, was taking out the, the drip tray here, and I happen to look at the... Uh, Cereal <laughs> area? Yeah, and it's uh, the model. Because if, you know, if you're familiar with these, everybody calls them Miss Sylvia. And I don't know when they went to actually doing this. I love inside, that. But they call it... The Miss Sylvia as the model. Um, but so the backstory. Originally, the Sylvia was made as a giveaway to some of Ranchilio's commercial vendors. Uh -huh. We saw that, I think it was 20 or so years ago, down in New York City at Dallas Brothers Coffee. And we said, you know what? There's probably a market for that. Yeah, was it like an expo or like? No, it was just a visit down to Dallas Brothers. We saw, hey, what's oh. that? And it's like, oh, Ranchilio gave us that machine. We said, we, we can market that. And so, and Cool. <laughs> there it is. Now one of the most popular single boiler machines available. So the same same story over here. These machines again operate about the same way, right? Oh, oh we got yeah, a little, I got a little uh, twist in there. Twist it in there. Okay. Well, this isn't the prettiest shot, but it's uh, here we go. All right. Yeah, I think I could have so, put the porta filter on a little tighter there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so now uh, let's go over to the classic, right? And we'll mm -hmm. do some uh, 
some steaming over here, right? Let's do some steaming, yes. Um, so I've got it in steam mode, this light's on, and then next thing I'm gonna do is get my milk. Mm -hmm. I love the uh, fact that I can steam very quickly. It gets up to steam temp quickly on this. I always do a purge beforehand as well. Yeah, you wanna get that excess water out of there? Get a cup to purge into. There we go. There we go. I got a nice dry steam now. And I just do it until I'm not seeing water. I'm just seeing dry steam. So from the, about the time, you know, the machines will indicate that they've reached steaming temperature. And that's a thermostat in there saying, hey, I'm up to that temperature we want for steaming. But you can start steaming a lot sooner than that. And actually, it can maybe even be advantageous because um, it's going to continue heating. So I'd say it's usually about 20 seconds on the... Uh, Gaja Classic there, once you hit the steam mm -hmm. switch is when you can start steaming. And yeah. that's, now it does have, now another difference between the two machines is you have a larger boiler in the Sylvia. Larger boiler, yeah, it's, um, yeah. I think it's like 12 fluid ounces or so. Yeah, and we're at three over on the Gaja Classic mm -hmm. Evo, um, so it does heat up much faster. In fact, from turning this machine on to ready to brew, you're, you know, right around five minutes. Yeah, which is right really around quick. five minutes. Uh, and then that boiler's brass, and this one's aluminum. Another difference between the two. And it does have the latest boiler in the Classic. Does have the Exalia uh, coating in it, the mm -hmm. food safe coating, been certified by you know everybody in Italy, Italy and the U.S. as as being perfectly safe and fine. Um, Here we go. Okay. All right. Now, generally, because we're doing a live show, you know, we would generally pull that shot, then go right ahead and yeah. Steam. Um, but it really, it's, it is capable of latte art quality. I'll put you on the spot here a little bit and see what you can do. Yeah. Almost there. Almost there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so over on the uh, Ranchilio here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Questions? You got a question? Yeah. Shoot. Are you able to do a pre-infusion? Asks Smeta. You can kind of tweak things mm -hmm. and get around and do a pre-infusion. I know we've got a tips and tricks video yes. that kind of goes through how you would achieve that. It's not necessarily like a built-in feature, but short answer is yes, you can. There, yeah, there are, there are ways to do it. I mean, we do have a video where you can release some pressure yeah. out of the steam wand as you're, mm -hmm. as you're brewing. The problem is if you hit the brew switch and then hit the brew switch off, it opens a three-way solenoid valve, which removes that water from the, so you don't want to do that. Yeah. Um, there are some other techniques. I think some mm -hmm. people will hit the brew switch and then maybe hit the power switch. Yeah. You know, to get some flow onto the coffee. But, you know, really, if you're going to get to that level, um, you know, maybe you're looking at a, at, a, at a higher level machine if you're really about pre infusion. Yeah. I think I'm going to switch out pitchers here real okay. quick. I just want to get a little bit yeah. of a smaller one. One thing that's nice, though, about the Sylvia, if you are going to steam a larger pitcher of milk like this, it's going to uh, keep up with that slightly better than the Gaja Classic. Yeah. So if you do prefer those really extra large lattes, uh, probably slightly better fit for you. Yeah. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Purge. Okay. Yeah. So nice, nice steam pressure over there. Very nice steam <laughs> pressure. And this one has a one hole steam tip. So it's going to mm -hmm. push the milk in one direction. Uh, you can achieve latte art with either one, but it's probably just a little bit easier to get the swirl on this one. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, so really good steam pressure on this. And the boiler does retain that heat well. Yeah. 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 Feel it getting nice and hot. Okay. I'm going to use my imperfect shot over here. <laughs> Again, if you know, you're really doing these drinks, you would pull your shot and then go mm -hmm. right ahead and steam. And, you know, there's also this question, should I steam my milk first or brew my shot first? And Ultimately, it's personal it's, preference. It's a personal preference. Yeah. If I'm you are going to steam first, you definitely want to do a cooling flush. Yes. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, a little, little bit, of a heart bit there. better. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so that cooling flush. Now, how would yeah. we do that over here on the uh, Sylvia? Yeah. So the, for the cooling flush, uh, basically what you would do is get it back into brew mode, mm -hmm. and then 
engage the pump. Let's so you got the water switch, switch, right? Yeah, we've got the water switch here. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, so I'm going to turn the steam mode off. We've got the yep. water switch. And then I'm going to open. Just gently open that gently up. Gently open the, there we go. So you can see it's a lot of steam coming out from there. So that's why we've got this here. And you want to let that run until you're getting like a solid stream of yeah. water out Yeah, until you get kind of the opposite of before you do a steam before, a purge before steaming. I'm doing this until there's no more steam and it is going to give me a solid stream of water. So there we go, getting better there. And I can see the pump there. Um, and that's the same thing I would do if I were gonna do an Americano. Once yeah. I have that solid stream going. I For would the just, hot water yeah, out of there. Get the hot water out of there, exactly. And then over, I'm going to turn off the steam over oh, here, so it'd be you. the same over on the classic. It's a similar, similar, um, yeah, process, except instead of a dedicated pump switch, you're going to go both of these. Both of these, yes. Which will turn the pump on and close the solenoid, so water's only going to come out of here. And same thing, just doing this until I get a solid stream. And you the boiler's a little smaller, so it's yeah. going to refill and get rid of the excess steam a little faster. There we go. Yeah. You nice. always want the pump on when you're doing that. All right. We'll make a check here for any questions. Yeah. What do you got, Ellie? <laughs> so, um, Ben noticed that the Sylvia looks bigger. Does that mean that it has a larger capacity, too? Yeah. It has a larger boiler. Um, mm -hmm. As far as the water reservoirs, those are almost identical. The Sylvia's got a 74 fluid ounce water reservoir. Uh, the Classic has a 72 fluid ounce water reservoir, but the Classic has a three ounce boiler and the Sylvia has a 12 fluid ounce boiler. Um, so yes, larger boiler, larger dimensions. And I know yeah. the, the specs will be on the product page as far as like the exact width, depth, height. This also weighs 30 pounds, whereas the, the Gaja Classic weighs about 20 pounds. Yeah. Evo Pro mm -hmm. weighs about 20 pounds. So this one's, yeah, it's smaller. It's going to be more ideal for a uh, smaller kitchen, more compact to, you know, take up less space. So. Yeah. I mean, so we, you know, we we're using these two grinders here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that fat chili is just kind of like an on-demand, very simple, str very straightforward, yep. but really nice grinder. Um, yeah. And there is, you know, you get, you do have the bigger boiler on the, on the Sylvia here. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing larger amounts of milk, yeah. You know, multiple milk drinks that, that, you know, you're going to split a shot and do two milk drinks. Yeah. That can, that might be of some help. Um, no slouch here though. You can, I mean, you can still, you can yeah. still steam for two drinks And that's drinks the thing, like, even though this one has a smaller boiler, it heats up very quickly. So it's yeah. going to refill, you know, if you're brewing, it's going to automatically refill. You can engage that pump to refill the boiler and steaming. And then with the, you know, heat up time being only five minutes from cold, once you're already kind of up there, I'd say it's like a minute or two yeah. to go between brewing and steaming. So, yeah. So, uh, may another check for a question. I yeah, go ahead, Ellie. So, um, Kay asks, what is the cup clearance for both machines? Uh, oh, Mark measured <laughs> it right yeah, before. So, so. so glad, yes. <laughs> so, I mean, because I do want to go, like, you know, things that I like about each machine mm -hmm. and things that, you know, you need to be aware of. Yeah, yeah, um, kind of our, the quirks, I guess, of the machine. Um, I did say I was going to show, so the Classic, uh, the Sylvia doesn't have this, but the Classic does come with, and we'll see if we can get a shot of this, that pressurized basket I mentioned, mm -hmm. it, it looks like that. With the one hole there. It's got a tiny single little hole here, and that, that makes the grind size less critical. Yeah. allows you to work with pre-ground uh, coffee that's mm -hmm. ground for espresso. I want to mm -hmm. be really clear on that. Um, and this little three-way pin here, which would drop into your portafilter under, underneath this. Exactly. So it doesn't spray, basically. It's an yeah. anti-spray kind of thing. Um, but the, so the stock, uh, the stock dual spout portafilter um, that comes with it, again, it's stainless steel now. If you have mm -hmm. an older one, it used to be chrome plated brass. Yeah. But if you go with, if you go, you know, upgrade to something like this. You can um, have a little more cup height Still chrome the plated bottomless. brass in the bottomless yeah. option. But so for the cup height here, here it's two and three quarter inches. So if you were okay. working with a cup, you know, standard sort of like uh, cappuccino, cappuccino cup. cup, that will work under there. So you can brew mm -hmm. right into the cup. Over on the Sylvia, uh, same deal. I mean, you've got three and a quarter mm -hmm. inches about under the stock 
uh, yeah, dual? About, about three and a quarter inch. And I, I would say um, something that's helpful with either of these machines is to get one of these these uh, little spouted glasses. I'll yeah. use this at home. Little I got these picture. at home um, for my classic Evo. It's just really helpful. That way, if you are using the dual spout, it's going to fit under there no problem. And you can mm -hmm. still fit like a, a Kaya Lunar scale or what have you. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make one more check, then maybe I'll go. We'll go through some of our likes and things to things to know. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, Pete asks, is there a preference to cool down the boiler via the steam wand versus the group head? I think officially, we say I would steam consider. Wand. Yeah, yeah, I would consider Nick to be the expert on it, and he prefers the steam wand. So I'd have to yeah. go with that. When I'm at home in a hurry, I do it through the group. It's messier. Um, it's it's going to be your personal preference, but official answer is steam one. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because yeah, these machines, like they, the water comes, the hot water is going to come off the top of the boiler because that's where the steam comes mm -hmm. out. So when you refill it, you're for sure refilling. And I mean, I just think cooling down is a little neater rather than dumping yeah. the water into the drip tray. Um, and that, yeah. that, that brings you know me to uh, one more check for questions, see if we anything right now. If not, we'll move on. Okay. Um, some of the things that that I like. I mean, yeah. The customizing options. I'll start with the classic. Um, colors. The cu customizing out. Yeah. Yeah. Ten colors available. Lots of different wood trim options. Mm -hmm. um, very small and and the price of this. Yeah. Because yeah. you can go with a classic and a fatile, which is a really nice package. Right. Um, and that's you're going to be right around the cost of the Sylvia altogether. Yeah. Yeah. So, I know, yeah, and I know for me, like um, initially before I worked here, I was a customer and I purchased a Classic Pro, and that kind of leaned me towards purchasing Classic Pro, was just price. Yeah. Um, but they're both solid machines, excellent mm -hmm. machines. Yeah. I mean, there's a huge modding community for both these <laughs> yeah. people. Will, yeah. You know, who, who have that interest will will soup it up, and yeah. you can certainly do that with either of these. Mm -hmm. um, they're really easy to get inside and work on, and. There's a ton of space in the case of the Sylvia inside to do that. Yeah, yeah. There's a good um, amount of space inside the housing on this one. Probably a little bit easier to fit your hand inside slightly. Now, now one of the things, and I don't actually know the the uh, how much water you can fit in a drip tray, but that's one of the things that always yeah. gets me with a Sylvia a little bit is kind of the drip trays. Yeah, you want to keep an eye on it. Not as easy. You have to kind of do this and then take out the pan. Um, but it's just, it's, it's really, you know, it's kind of shallow. So if you're not yeah. careful, it's kind of, it's not easier. a big deal. So long as you keep the, you know, keep it, keep it emptied. Yeah. Um, Slightly easier to spill. This one's going to pull out a little bit easier. Yeah. Um, so even though it is plastic, I feel like design form factor a little bit better. A little, little more, a little more yeah. space. And so just since you did that, you can also pull that water reservoir. You don't really ever oh, sure. need to do that. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't think we need to show it, but okay. the whole water reservoir will pull right out of the bottom of the machine. Mm -hmm. but like I said, you can fill it on the top as well. But if yeah. you want to pull that reservoir out and clean it up or something, yeah, you can you do could. that. Yeah, you could. If you had um, not a lot of space and you needed it underneath the countertop, you can remove the board of filter and take the water reservoir out and fill it that way. And they both do. I mean, they do sense the boiler is in both machines. It's mm -hmm. like right under the... Yeah, these are both passively tray. heated. You know, this will really get your so cups warm. Exactly. Like I couldn't hand, hold my hand on there yeah. very long. If it's a cold day, just come over yeah. here. Yeah. Warm yeah. up. Camp out by yeah. the espresso <laughs> machine. All right. Yeah. Uh, any any other questions, Ellie? Okay. Yeah, we'll take them. Let's see you guys. There you are. <laughs> yeah. One last question. Sure. Um, you guys mentioned the Ficile being a good grinder. Uh, what else could you pair with these machines? Great question. Yeah. yeah um, so the Ficile is gonna be a really good pairing in my number one recommendation, but the mm -hmm. Fellow Opus and the Baratza Encore ESP are great choices too. They're gonna be slightly cheaper than the Mignon Ficile. Um, main difference, those have got conical burrs. Um, yeah. So the step up would be that the Ficile has flat burrs, um, a little bit more powerful motor, but the yeah. Opus and the Baratza Encore ESP when I was first getting into espresso, they did not have a grinder at that price that could do espresso. Um, yeah. So those are definitely compelling options as well. And you can, I mean, you can certainly go up from there. Like, you yeah. know, you, you end I up mean, with, you get into espresso, you end yeah. up with upgradeitis, right? Yeah, well, and at home, <laughs> yeah. I've got the uh, Eureka Oro single dose with my Evo Pro. So, you know what I mean? 
yeah. no harm in uh, getting a nicer grinder than the machine even. <laughs> yeah. Or like more expensive rather. Yeah. Yeah. What, any, anything else? Really? Okay, great. Um, I, what else, what else can we say? I don't know. I, you know, I've, I've always loved the, the gosh, yeah. classic Evo Pro. There's, you know, a lot of people love the Sylvia. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, if you want to wrap it up really, you know, if you're doing large amounts of, of milk drinks, yeah, this is Sylvia got, might be a better choice. Just, yeah. just has the edge on steam power, um, over the, over the classic Evo Pro. Um, but if you're, you know, if time's not an issue, you can do either. But if you ha if you want to fill a larger pitcher with milk, this one might be a better fit. Yeah. Yeah. But for you know one or one or two people, you're making a, a drink or two mm -hmm. at a time. The the class yeah. Evo does have you covered, no mm -hmm. problem. Yeah. With that, um, and you know it depends on on the look you like. You know I consider yeah. kind of the, the Ranchilla, you know, more of a sort of commercial look, commercial sort of look. Yeah, for um, sure. Which some people really like. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Um, and it depends on your space in your kitchen. Um, yeah. What you prefer. This one also does come in stainless steel. So there's that option too. Um, yeah. I think yeah. this one comes in in the stainless steel and also in black. In black. Mm -hmm. so, you, so you do have some options there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Make, make one more check for, for questions. No, uh, you guys. Okay. Well, listen. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Hey, Missy, thank you very much. Thanks so much for having me. Ellie again. and Brian the Stash back there. Awesome. Good to see you guys. Thanks for helping <laughs> us out. You, you'll love it, don't you? Okay. Making him bashful. <laughs> <laughs> again, if you have any, you know, if you're watching a, a replay of our live stream, do use, use those comments. Oh, and I want to mention real quick Coffee Cast. Oh, sure. Tell us about that. <clears throat> yes, so Coffee Cast um, is a free service. You can go to the top banner on the website and click there to schedule a Zoom meeting where we're in the studio and we can demo machines for you. Um, so if there's a machine and a grinder pairing or uh, a machine that you just want demoed, we'd be happy to meet with you and tell you all about it. And that's free. Yeah. Free. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So you get a free, like, you know, personalized one-on-one -on -one demo with pretty much any yeah, product that we exactly. have, which is really awesome. All right, guys. Well, listen, thanks, thanks for watching and we'll see you back here at Whole Lot of Love real soon for more of the best on everything coffee. Thanks.